In this video, we're going to practice the skill of multiplying within word problems. We're going to use both the partial products and the standard algorithm methods. When dealing with word problems, this goes for all types of word problems, not just when we multiply, we need to make sure that we're truly understanding the story problem that's being told. Biggest piece of advice before even using this cubes is to reread the problem. Read it the first time just to understand what's going on, what's being um, talked about, what's being asked of you, and then go back through. And that's when I like to mark it up using some of these methods um, from cubes, like circling important words or underlining the question, boxing keywords, uh, eliminate, maybe cross out any extra information. And then finally, solve by showing my work. Epic students drink 312 liters of water each day. Liberty High School students drink five times as much water per day. How much water does Liberty High School drink in a week? I'm gonna reread this problem and practice marking this up in a way that makes sense to me. Epic students drink 312 liters of water each day. Liberty High School students, so this is a different type of student body, drink five times as much water per day. How much water does Liberty High School drink in a week? All right, so a couple multi-steps here because the question is asking how much water Liberty drinks in a week, but the problem is talking about how much water is drank per day. So we might need to do some extra steps in the end. First off, we're really going to mark down the information that we know. I'm gonna draw a box that represents epic students. This tells me 312 liters per day. That's how much an epic student drinks. Liberty High School students drink five times as much. So I'm going to actually make this tape diagram longer that it sounds like they drink more and they are going to do five times the amount that epic students drink per day so i'm going to do five times whatever epic's amount was this case it was 312 liters so this is for liberty high school students so per day i'm going to do 312 times five And I'm going to show this in both partial products and standard. You're going to start to get some choice in how you want to solve problems. So partial products, 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 10 is 50. And 5 times 300 is 1,500. I'm going to add all those products up and get 1,560. If I did the standard algorithm, five times two is 10, carry my one. Five times one is five, plus one is six, and then five times three is 15. So no matter what, I now know that the high schoolers drink 1,560 liters per day at their school. But the question, going back, this is why I box it, this is why it's important to look back and ask yourself, did I answer what the question is asking me? How much water does Liberty High School drink in a week? Well, there's seven days in a week, and we figured out how much they drink in one day. So I could do 1,560 and add that up seven times, but we know that we can multiply this to be more efficient. So I can take this times seven, which represents how many days there are in a week. So now I'm gonna do 1,560 times seven. I'll show it in both partial products and standard algorithm. Partial product, seven times zero is zero. Seven times 60 is 420. Seven times five, 500 is 3,500, and 7 times 1,000 is 7,000. Adding up those products, I get an answer of 10,920. Standard algorithm, 7 times 0 is 0, 7 times 6 is 42, 
So I carry the four this time. Seven times five is 35, but plus nine is 39. Seven times one is seven, but plus three is 10. So same thing. Now I can go back and make sure that I've answered my question. How much water does Liberty High School drink in a week? It's 10,920 liters. Make sure you have that label because we're talking about a word problem here. Moving on to the next problem. We have Liam has 245 stickers. Mia has three times as many stickers as Liam. Noah has 127 fewer stickers than Mia. How many stickers does Noah have? Go back through and mark up our problem. So I, I noticed that we have three different names going on here. We've got Liam, we've got Mia, and we've got Noah. Liam has 245 stickers. I'm gonna draw that in a tape diagram. So this one's gonna represent Liam. Mia has three times as many stickers as Liam. So that means Mia is gonna have more. And then it just tells us the clue is three times as many as Liam, which we know is 245. And then Noah has 127 fewer stickers than Mia. So for Noah, we need to know how much Mia, how many stickers Mia has, which we don't know just yet. I'm gonna put an M to represent that unknown amount. It's gonna represent Mia. And we're gonna subtract 127 because he has 127 fewer than Mia. And then the question is asking, how many stickers does Noah have? So really, I'm gonna put a question mark next to Noah to remind myself that this is the box that's going to help me find my answer. Now I've got to work backwards. I can't solve this problem until I know how many stickers Mia has. So I'm gonna take 245 times that three to find out how many stickers Mia has. Setting this up both partial products and standard algorithm. Three times five is 15. 3 times 40 is 120. 3 times 200 is 600. Adding up all those products, and I get 735. Standard algorithm, 3 times 5 is 15. Carry my 1. 3 times 4 is 12. Plus 1 is 13. Carry my 1. 3 times 2 is 6. Plus 1 is 7. So same thing here, 735, so I now know that Mia has 735 stickers. But my question wasn't how many stickers does Mia have, it's how many does Noah have. Now I can plug in that I know Mia has 735. So now I just gotta do this last step of doing 735 minus 127. With some borrowing, I find out that Noah has 608 stickers.